Welcome back craft beer lovers, um, taste testing time and something new just hit in the shelves this in the last week or last couple of weeks um, from Four Pines is and their Keller Door collection is their New England IPA um, and uh, just been doing a little reading of the backstory so they reckon it's one of their he most heavily hopped beers um, it's using you know, five hops so you got Citra, Mosaic El Dorado, Idaho, number seven, and Simcoe. And they use a uh, unmalted barley to try and get, so you're not really taken away from the hops flavor. And it's been uh, twice dry hopped as well. So um, expecting a fair bit from it. Um, it's seven and a half percent and 40 IBU. So, um, you know, it's all the range, it's what all the cool kids are doing these days with the, uh, the haze. So, um, as most of you would know, I'm not a huge fan of this style, but um, I have found a couple of nice ones lately which I've enjoyed. So, let's see how it goes. Okay, that's what it looks like in the glass. It's not really hazy. Actually, fairly clean, sort of a bit like a pale ale. Got a nice little, good, tight head on it. Um, I can smell some sweetness. Oh, that's the cut grass. I reckon Simcoe is one of the hops that I find has the most um, pugnant sort of smell. That's pretty obvious. I can pick it up straight away. Let's see what it tastes like. I definitely get the, the fruitiness with this. So, <coughs> you know, um, yeah, when, when the style first came about, I think everybody was going for the haze. You know, it was all about how hazy it could be. Always talked about how juicy it was. Um, I think in the last, I don't know, maybe three or four months, the style has developed a little bit, um, <coughs> probably for the better. And um, <clears throat> I think it's getting a bit more a characteristic now. It's still, I mean, obviously, still IPA. Um, it's probably just, you know, we go back to the old West Coast, East Coast thing, but the West Coast used to be the big sort of, <clears throat> um, you know, powerful hops where you would have uh, <clears throat> like the resin and the um, <clears throat> tobacco style. <coughs> excuse me, in the hops, which are really bitter. Um, I think the main difference with this New England style, and, and now that it seems to settle down a little bit, is it's basically a, a fruity IPA. Um, that's what I get from it anyway. Um, they, you know, they talked about all the different types of fruits that's in there. Uh, grapefruit, mango, lychee, stone fruit, passion fruit, berries, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I'm picking up most of that. Um, maybe not lychee and berries, but... Um, yeah, like that sort of, I guess when, when I think f like a fresh fruit type thing, generally the one that sticks out the most is sort of your pineapple style flavour. So if you think the canned pineapple type thing, that sweetness um, mixed in with the fruitiness, um, that's the sort of uh, what you'd expect with something like that these days. It is quite bitter. I'm surprised it's only 48 IBU. I know that's whole IBU thing's a bit of a strange animal to to uh, work with, but um, I actually find it is quite bitter. Um, but it, it's well balanced as well. It's sort of, it's got a sharpness to it, um, and the fruitiness as well. It's got a nice mouthfeel actually too. Some of the um, New England IPAs tend to be uh, a little bit thin on the mouthfeel. This is actually quite, uh, I'd say like a medium body mouthfeel. Anyway, all up, I think it's pretty good, well-rounded beers, um, especially for the style, I'm quite happy with that. If you haven't seen it before, check it out. As I said, Four Pines New England IPA um, in stores now. Remember, life's too short to drink bad beers. Cheers.